Okay, so we finished all the outlining with the V-groove bit and I've taken some sandpaper and just gone over it lightly. Once I've got all the wood fibers off, then I could see any spots where this, the curves were not real smooth or where lines weren't straight enough. And the V-groove bit is not a highly aggressive bit. So what I can do is go back and just lightly run over the surface, put just a little bit of pressure against the spots that stick out, and it erases them just beautifully. You can also see right here just how thin you can cut this walnut. The only place where it actually chipped out was right here where it actually got to be paper thin. But this is one of the nice things about walnut, you can get tremendous detail. Our next step is going to be to lower the background. This area is tight enough that I really don't want to try to get in there with a quarter inch bit. It's, it's just going to be too wide. If I touch the uh, letters at all with a highly aggressive bit like this quarter inch straight bit, it'll just destroy the project. So what I'm going to do is come back in with this uh, 1 8 inch bit, clean up all these areas that are very tight like this and then switch to the larger quarter inch bit to knock out these wide open areas out here. I've installed the 1 8 inch straight bit in the router and to set the depth we do it just like we've done all the others. I release the clamp on the router and run it up a little bit and what we're going to do is just take the test carving and lay it on top there and you can see that the test carving is just starting to lift up there. That would probably be about a good spot to do it. But we cut the V-groove bit a little bit deeper. So let's cut the background down just a little bit deeper also. Just about like that. And then we lock it down. And now we're ready to go. One thing I forgot to mention was to make sure you keep a story stick of some sort that uh, you have sample cuts of all your router settings. In this case, I happen to make one that's a little bit fancy. It's on a scrap of the same wood. And I have the cove cut down the side here. And I have the profile uh, V-groove bit cut down the side and around the letters here. Before I take my router bit out or move the change the depth of it, I make these cuts in this piece of wood so if I want to make a second one just like this, I can use this to make an identical copy of it. Before I actually cut on this, I'll do my test cuts from here. These settings on here to make sure they look good. I'll cut out some little area in here. And then when I switch to this larger bit, I'll do some more cutting out with it. So I'll have, have a sample of all the cuts. Well. I'm awfully glad that I made my uh, test cuts on this uh, little piece of wood here before I started working on my main project because somehow I really got my bit set deeper than I really should have. It would have been fine because I still have the uh, groove down through here, but it just didn't have the effect that I wanted it to have. I wanted to have a much more pronounced uh, groove like it is over here compared to this. Since I had done it on this piece instead of on my main carving, I was able to stop and raise the bit. You can see the very large difference right here. So then I continued it around the rest of the area and felt that this would be a, a better depth to cut it out to. So now I can uh, go ahead and do the main carving. Now I also, before I proceeded, I also took this other scrap of wood here and cut out a fairly large area with that bit at that exact depth. And what this will be used for is that when I'm trying to get this bit set to the same height, when I think I got it right, then I can come over here and do a little bit of carving to see if this matches this over here. This, this scrap of wood here will give me a place to try that on so I don't even have to mess up my story stick over here. I'll have to come in here and come down on this spot and this tiny little bit is not at all aggressive. 
So what you'll see me do is you'll see me go around and outline the outline uh, with the bit. Then I'll clean up these areas in between. I'll probably go up around here and outline around the outline up here also. Just to make sure that when I come back with this very aggressive bit, then I don't take any chance of touching this part right here or the letters which would totally destroy the project. So let's get started. I finished cleaning out all the spaces between the letters uh, with this 1 8 inch straight bit and I also went ahead and uh, cut around all these outlines around here. What I'm going to have to do is to get this quarter inch bit set to the exact same height as this is. I've set the height of the bit so that I can't feel any kind of, re any kind of touch but again, you don't want to me be messing with your main project. So what I'm going to do here, I've cut these the same depth as what I did on the pro main project. And so I'll make sure that it does not touch and then I'll just lower it ever so slightly each time until I get a touch. Then I'll back it up a little bit. Okay, now if I run my finger across that, I can feel there's just a tiny bit of a lip the way it's supposed to be. So now I'll bring it down a hair and keep doing that until I can't feel any kind of difference. Okay, now this, I cannot feel any difference at all right across here. That's exactly what I need. I'm going to start over here on this section because it's separate from everything else. It's least noticeable. And if that goes well, then we'll move on to the rest of it.
Okay, that went pretty well. It was a hair too deep, and I'm surprised that it's as rough a surface as it is there, but it'll, it'll come out. Also, I left a little bit of a thing there, uh, but I can sand that off pretty easily. So now I'll just go ahead and do the rest of it.